Welcome to Homestead Gardening in the Texas Gulf Coast. One of the biggest frustrations my clients have is being told they can grow mosquito repelling plants in their home garden, but not only do the mosquito repelling plants not repel mosquitoes from them, but they can't even repel mosquitoes from themselves. That's why in this episode, I'm gonna dispel a common plant myth and show you how mosquito repelling plants actually repel mosquitoes. So how do mosquito repelling plants actually repel mosquitoes? Well, first of all, you have to crush the leaves and release the oils. All of these leaves, the entire plant itself actually is full of natural oils and the only way to repel mosquitoes is to crush up the leaves and rub the oils directly on your skin. Now this may cause some contact dermatitis for some people who are really sensitive. It's also going to take you a really long time to rub your entire body with these leaves. It's not practical, which is why today I'm gonna to show you how I actually make a really easy mosquito repelling spray with lemon balm and a couple other ingredients. Lemon balm is a member of the mint family. The best way to harvest members of the mint family is to cut above a node, which is a growing point on the plant. This will ensure that the plant will continue to grow leaves after you harvest. It's very easy to miscalculate when you're using fresh ingredients. So today I'll be cutting a lot more lemon balm than I actually need just to make sure I have enough for this recipe. Today we will use an infusion method to create a mosquito repellent spray. I start by rinsing all of my lemon balm leaves and stems and then patting everything dry before packing the leaves and stems tightly in a jar. Next, I add witch hazel to the jar so that it covers all of the leaves. Witch hazel actually has anti-inflammatory properties. So if you already have mosquito bites and you add this mosquito spray to your regimen, you're going to actually calm the itch of your current mosquito bites with this addition. To prevent any oxidation of those lemon balm leaves, I want to press down and remove any hidden air bubbles inside the jar. This jar is lightly capped and set in a cool, dark place for two weeks. Using a second jar, a funnel, and a mesh strainer, you can easily extract all the liquids from the jar, and you may want to make sure that you squeeze out any additional liquid trapped in the leaves. I prefer to do one or two filtrations using a coffee filter to make sure that my lemon balm and witch hazel mixture does not include any extra sediment. The smell of witch hazel is not for everybody, and if you need a little help covering up that smell, you're welcome to add essential oils during this stage of the process. For my spray, I decided to add eucalyptus. Now it's time to bottle the mixture. You want to make sure that you're using an amber glass bottle with a spray cap. Using a funnel, fill the amber bottle halfway with distilled water. Then add your repellent mixture. Cap the bottle tightly and then shake well to make sure the distilled water and the repellent mix well. Fridge store your repellent and make sure you use it in one to two weeks. While I was filming this mosquito repellent episode, I was actually sitting next to this huge lemon balm plant and getting eaten alive, even though I was right next to it. And that just goes to show you, you really have to remove the essential oils from this plant and make sure they're all over your body and clothes or you're going to get eaten by mosquitoes. 
Thanks so much for learning with me today. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to learn more interesting gardening tips from me. 